liked that funky song um it's called mustache on my face it's just something fun um and hopefully it puts a smile on your face it uh, definitely does um on my face well today is um tuesday april 21st and um yeah looking outside it's not quite as uh, pretty as it was yesterday um but you know cloud coverage is nice and hopefully we do get some rain because that is what my flowers need. I'd rather have natural rain than, you know, having to go out and water it. Um, resources from our earth is so much better. And then um, when the sun comes out again, they get to absorb all of those nutrients from the sun and they get to grow again. So um, yeah, we need both rain and sunshine, right? So uh, today's focus uh, is going to be sight words and uh, sight words for the entire year, but also sight words uh, just for this week. So I have two activities. The first activity is I took the question from the attendance. Uh, so last week, the attendance question was, what is your good name? Great answers, by the way. And then this week's um, question is, uh, what is your favorite thing that you like about spring? And I chose that question because also I wanted to connect it to our writing sample, our activity that we're doing for writing. Um, and we've been building on that with our Venn diagram with um, that your opinion on what you think the best thing about spring is. And so you're writing an opinion piece. And this is going to help you if you're kind of stuck and you're not quite sure on three different details and ideas that you want. So I took your answers and I wrote them down. I put a couple of mine as well. I may have missed out on some and I apologize for that. And some of them kind of overlapped, but this is the challenge that you have for this week. And I will re let you have all week to do it. And then on Monday, I will go over your answers. So every time you get a point, um, you are going to get your name written down on a piece of paper and I'm going to put it in a bucket and then I'm going to draw a name, randomly draw a name and uh, you'll get something special that I'll put together in your packets that I put together every two weeks. So um, this is how you're going to earn points. You get a point, one point for participating. You get one point for every sight word that you circle or draw a line under um, that you recognize in this. Um, you're not going to get a point though if you find a word on here that maybe you recognize the word but it isn't really a sight word. So I want you to stick with sight words, okay? Um, and again, it's sight words for the whole entire year. So think about what you already know, okay? Um, and then there's, I have the total number of sight words that's in here. So you're going to see if you could come up with the total number and then you're going to get five extra entries if you get that total correct. Okay. So, um, again, you're going to put, um, you're going to read this and then, um, which I'll go over it in a sec. And then you're going to find all the sight words in here and you're going to circle or underline them. And then you're going to, um, make a post about it. So either, uh, uh, you know, where uh, parents, you write it out and then they circle and, or underline, or maybe they just make a list of all the sight words. However, you get creative, whatever works for you, but I need to actually physically see that you did the activity um, for you to get credit on it. So um, whether it be that you called me and we talked about it on our Thursday phone calls, or if you, um, you know, send me an email with that documentation. Okay. Um, so this is what uh, you guys came up with, with two of my own. My favorite thing about spring is playing with my friends. The flowers start to bloom. All the flowers bloom. Playing with my dog, trains, my family. Spring smells good. And there are lots of flowers. So in this entire document, see how many sight words you can find. 
And um, maybe there's one sight word, but it's used several times. Go ahead, underline or circle that sight word because that counts, all right, if that makes sense. So let's say I'm going to pick a sight word that's not in there. Let's say the word away, which happens to be one of this week's sight words. Let's say I use away several times in this. You're, just, you're not going to just circle it or underline the one time. You're going to do it every time you see that sight word. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. All right, that is one activity. The second one that we're going to do, which um, is just something fun. You, This isn't something that you are going to get credit for or anything like that. But um, a, just a fun way for you to interact with your um, kids. So here are our sight words for this week. Away. Bye. Must, he, no, hopefully you're not hearing a lot of that word, and there. Okay, this is, this is just one way that you can start um, understanding um, sight words. So I know I have you guys write sentences, but it would be fun if you guys greet each other this way. So depending on how many you have in the household is how many sight words you can use for that one time. So I am going to put, like a name tag, I am going to put the word must on my name. And maybe if my son were here, I would give my son the word no. So he is now no, and I am now must. So I'm gonna go up to greet him, and I'm gonna say some type of greeting. You get to pick, so I may go up to my son, who is now no, and instead of saying his name, Jeff, I would say, um, good morning, no, how are you? And then he would reply with my, um, I'm doing okay, must, okay? So um, that you become, you now become, instead of your name, you now become your sight word, and someone else in your family becomes the new sight word, okay? So you may want to review the sight words or just see if they happen to know it. Um, you can put, uh, another way you can do this is you can put sight words, you know, on the door or the refrigerator. And when they go to that specific object or place, you know, maybe the bedroom then becomes the by room or becomes the away room. And every time they enter that room, they have to say that sight word. So these are just fun ways to um, uh, learn sight words uh, without just like, you know, reading about it or just writing sentences or just, um, you know, going through flashcards, okay? So um, again, we have two activities. This one I am giving points for and you get to earn something. This is just a fun, another interactive way for you to um, learn your sight words. Uh, with that, that is about all I have for today. I hope you um, are enjoying your week so far and I will see you tomorrow.